welcome back for another video. This is gonna be a little pro tip. Oh, battery's dead. So a lot of guys can, so one, bleh. So, Mustang GT, two, Good morning guys, welcome back for another video. It's gonna be really short, sweet, to the point, kind of a pro tip video. Anybody out there with an S650 that has a single tip exhaust, uh, non-active, that wants to upgrade. So there's a couple ways that you can fix this. You can go to Ford and you can spend $450, $500 on a new quad tip bounce or you can cut it and then fit up whatever quad tip exhaust you wanna go with. Now here's the thing, I've already got one side cut. This is killing me. I see all over the internet that everybody's out there cutting and hacking up their single tip balance. And it just looks so terrible. And I'm gonna show you a really clean way to do it. You don't need a Dremel, you don't need any fancy equipment. It's probably stuff that you already have at your house and it's so simple. I've already got one side done. You can barely even tell that it was cut. I mean, I haven't even taken a file to it yet and I'll show you in a second. It's a marker or something like that to make some lines. And then just this, okay? Just one of these will get it done. You don't need anything fancy, hardcore. You don't need big power tools, you don't need big scissors you don't need any of those things one of the things that will help you can go to night top we've got a bunch of their carbon fiber stuff on the car but they have this really cool template that you pay like five bucks for they'll email you the template print it off on like a one-to-one -one true actual scale I just went to the store and I had them print off a couple of sheets on some actual card stock I'm getting ready to do something interesting it's not been done on a Mustang GT yet something custom coming uh, that I don't want to give away all the secrets to so make sure that you're staying glued to the channel subscribe it's free anyway yeah you won't want to miss it it's not been done yet nobody wants to see your mustang out there with a hack job done to it so this is going to be like a really clean way to do this all right guys so we don't want to be publicly displaying our mustang with a hack job back here just to make something fit i want it to look as oem as possible but without spending a fortune doing it and that's kind of the recipe here so this is what I've done. Now I have not even filed this up to cl really clean up the edges yet, but this is how simple and clean it looks so far, okay? And once I take a little bit of sandpaper to here, it's gonna look as OEM as possible. You see the rounded edges, how clean that looks? Here's your OEM, but I'm gonna show you how to do it over here. So you see the little step-by-step -step process and how easy it is, and then follow this video, do it yourself. You don't need power tools, you don't need big scissors, you don't need any of that other crap. We're gonna take our stencil, and it's gonna line up, if you've cut it correctly, basically right into the little grooves here is I'm just gonna kind of trace carefully. Now I'm marking on this with a permanent marker but I'm about to cut it out anyway so it's not gonna matter. You can tape this up if you want to. It doesn't really matter. There's that line right there. Okay so we're about to take this and very carefully with a little bit of effort you can always do like a, a thin line first and then come back and chase it and go a little harder. And basically it's gonna snap out. You don't need a Dremel. You don't need this. You don't need that. You just need this. Very carefully. Remember you can always go shallow if you think you're gonna mess it up or whatever. Um, and then you can always cut more. But if you go too deep, you're not getting that plastic back on. You've screwed it up. Now in my case, I actually have two of these balances. So if I butcher this, I'm not really that worried about it. But the other side came out perfectly fine, so I think we're good. At this point, I'm going to go pretty much just straight forward under the car. All right, and then you're also going to cut right under this ledge here. And then back down here, I'm going to do a deep cut right inside. Now, if it works out like the other side did, you can kind of bend it. All right, so at the bottom, like I was saying, you just come in and go deep. So about like maybe halfway or whatever. And then what you'll do is you can actually bend it. And you can see where it kind of gets... It starts to go white, right? I still gotta go back through here and do some deeper cuts, but watch what happens when I do that. All right, now I'm gonna go for a deeper cut. I'm gonna follow the same lines as carefully as I can. Don't be in a rush about it. Now when I bend this material, this plastic, it's gonna show white. And then look at this. It will literally peel off. Just like that. Now you're gonna be left with all this right here and that's fine because you just take your razor blade and now 
is where you start making your clean cuts, right? And you just, you've already got your lines down, right? And so you might be able to snap some of this off. But if you can't, just come back through, do it again. It'll peel, and you're still going to have some of this white. And then you just start cutting away at it very carefully. Now, for perfection, you come back behind this with like a file, and then you can smooth out these edges. But this is just a really clean way to do it. Made our cuts, and I give it a little sand, and this is kind of how it looks. Try to deburred as much as possible. I'm gonna keep working on it. You might be able to actually take like a heat gun and kind of heat up the edges too, and then smooth it out, but I mean, this is kind of the result here. So I see a lot of guys, and they've just got like these plastic pieces, and they're, they're just like, it's not cut cleanly. And a lot of guys are out there with, you know, dremels, and they like miss a little bit, and you know, it's not completely, smooth and it just doesn't look that great so hopefully this video will help somebody out let's take a look at this other side real quick too since we got it a little bit more sanded down i mean but that's a pretty good job actually <laughs> so anyway um i'm gonna have to keep doing this i'm probably gonna have to actually extend these even more because of what we're putting back here is going to be so um different and uh, like I said make sure that you stay tuned to the channel to see what we're doing it's gonna be something that nobody's done yet this uh, hopefully will help somebody out if you've never done something like this before because I haven't either all you need is like a marker or some kind just a normal razor you probably have laying around the house and then you can opt to use that template and again links in the video description where you can purchase this for like five bucks and then they send you a pdf file in your email i went to the store had them printed off on cardstock so it's a little bit more durable and um, i made a couple of sheets of it so anyway i always have one for a rainy day because i've got a couple of these i might play around with something else another idea or whatever and this will come in handy so anyway hopefully again this helps somebody out this is the easiest way i think to do it is just kind of like i said trace and then you can literally snap the stuff off and you don't have to go in there with scissors or jigsaws or hacksaws or electric tools or any of that crap just a simple little razor blade all right guys i'll see you in the next video hopefully this helps god bless see you <laughs>